Yes, we are expecting big crowds tonight. We've already seen small crowds all across the country. It's a protest that is um, mainly in Tel Aviv, but there's very representation of thousands of people, sometimes in very small places, hundreds of people. And that's what we saw this afternoon. For example, people leaving a soccer match um, and they were all singing. They sounded, it sounded like soccer songs, but really they were wrapped in flags and they were protesting too on their way out of the match. So there is a, a grass, grassroots protest, I think at all levels of this society. And what the protesters, protesters are saying to the government is this. We are watching you. You have paused this. Um, you've suspended it. You haven't scrapped it. We don't want this legislation in its current form. And we're watching you throughout. And that's what I think they're doing. It's a throwing down the gauntlet to the government. Just because you've paused this doesn't mean it's not on the agenda for us, for the protesters, for the people who say they're there for Israel's democracy. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. And where does it leave pre uh, pre Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu? He uh, has sent this off for talks. As you say, not many people are hugely hopeful that those talks will yield much. Uh, and Israel's justice minister has said he's just preparing to push through the same reform, just uh, a little bit delayed in the next session of the parliament. So given all of that, if you just look at the polls, this has been very damaging for Benjamin Netanyahu. For the first time ever, he's not preferred prime minister in the last two polls. And the Likud, the party he heads, has, is actually hemorrhaging seats, you know, seven or eight seats down. If an election were held today, the right wing would not win, and it's down to this one issue.